What up guys, it's your boy Bam3 back at it with another video. And this one's on Jake Paul, man. And Tommy Fury. Um, I think Tommy Fury would be a good fight for Jake Paul. A really good fight. But if you think about it, Tommy Fury is talking all this crap. Tommy Fury is a... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Tommy Fury is a pro boxer. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Tommy Fury is a pro boxer, alright? And everybody thinks Tommy Fury would win. I think it would be a good fight. I think Tommy Fury would lose. Now, I have seen both of them fight. But you gotta look at this. You're saying that... All these people were saying that everybody that Jake Paul fights, everybody he fights are bums. They're nobodies. But the people that he fights, I believe they would have better records in a boxing match than the people that Tommy Fury have fought. I'm r right here at BoxingRec.com. It's called BoxRec.com. It says Tommy Fury has five wins. Zero losses. Four knockouts. Alright, so he has four knockouts. Alright, that's cool. Five, five wins, no losses. First opponent <clears throat> back February 27th. No, wait. His first opponent ever actually was... Back in December 22nd of 2018, 10 wins, 102 losses, and 3 ties, I guess it would be. I don't know what that is. So, his record, the dude was Jevinglis Arbogadis. 10 wins, 102 losses, with 3 draws, I'm guessing. Then in 2019, March 23rd, uh, maybe three months later, he fights Calum Ide. So he went from boxy to fighter with Ted Wids to now boxy to fighter with zero wins. So your first fight was 10 wins, 102 losses. Three draws. Now you're fighting zero wins, 26 losses, and two draws. And the first fight you won on points. The second fight you won by KO. He has no. The dude that he fought has no wins. All right. So now you go up to 2019, later in the year, in December 21st, and you fight a boxer that ends in a TKO. The boxer has two wins and 26 losses. All right. So you're going up. You went from well, you started off with 10 wins, boxer, to a 0 win boxer. I understand that but other boxer had more experience. Alright, so now you went from 0 wins to 2 wins. Alright, and you beat him with a TKO. And now you go in 2020, November 2020, and fight a guy with 0 wins and 11 losses. And you win that with a TKO. And then in 2021 in February, you fight a guy with nine losses. So, your whole record, you fought guys in five fights. The record was tw 12 wins and 174 losses. Twelve wins and 174 losses. All right, so you got Tommy Fury fighting five guys. They all combined to what did I say? Uh, four wins, two wins, or four wins, 174 losses. All right, so now you go look at. So he's fighting nobody. People with all the they have experience, but he's he's. He has experience too. He's been training and training and training for a while before he had these fights. He didn't just n never box and go to these fights. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's like me. 
It's not like I decided to get up and fight and then fight these five guys. No, he didn't do that. He was training for a while. So Jake Paul comes out of nowhere. And he has a Nissan Gib in 2020. A debut. Pro debut. Pro boxing debut. TKO. They were all debuts. Nate Robinson, Ben Askren, they were all boxing debuts. So, I guess a Nissan Gibbs debut would have been Jake Paul's debut. So, they both came out on the same time. But Jake Paul ended up knocking him out. And that was January of 2020. Well, then in November of 2020, he fights Nate Robinson and knocks him out. KO. And then about four months later, he fights Ben Askren, who I, I believe I thought would have lasted a lot longer because he is a athlete, not just an athlete, but he he sprawls, he, he boxes, he he's an MMA fighter. He fights with his hands, not only with his hands, but he normally fights wrestling, <clears throat> but. He's used his hands in striking. So that was a perfect... You go from a Nissan Gib. Now you want an athlete, someone who's more in shape. You go to Nate Robinson, perfect shape. He's perfect in shape. Now they're questioning, oh, well... Nate Robinson's not in, not in a, a fighting stage. He's not a boxer, he's not a wrestler, he's none of those. So he takes on... Who's he take on? Ben Askren. He takes on Ben Askren. Ben Askren is a world champion. And let me tell you this. You may say he's not a striker, but in the sport that he's in, he fights world-class strikers. And he becomes a champion world-class striker.